it was late October 1992, no, 91, October 91. And I was originally told I had a benign growth in, in my left tibia. And I was actually going into surgery to have it removed. And I woke up in the recovery room and, and my doctor was there and told me my tumor was still in place and it was, it was actually a malignant growth and they had to leave it in there and I was, I was told I was going to undergo a year of chemotherapy and multiple surgeries and everything hit me at once and it was a lot to go through, especially as a 17 year old. I don't remember a whole lot about that day because I just had woken up from a general anesthesia but I had a lot of family there my mom completely took control of the entire situation and anyone who was emotional at all wasn't allowed to come in my room. She wanted everyone to stay upbeat and happy and positive. Uh, it, was, it, it was a rough year and that, and that day was tough. I didn't see my dad for a couple days because of the rules my mom put in place. My dad was pretty emotional and wasn't allowed to visit me. But um, my mom was strong. She was a rock. As a 17-year-old, I don't even think I knew what cancer was, really. And I think my parents and my doctors kept a lot of things from me also. I had a 60 to 65% survival chance, and I didn't know that. I thought I'd be on crutches for a month or two and be back at it, and it didn't work out that way at all. I was actually misdiagnosed for about eight months. I think I saw three or four different different doctors who diagnosed me with tendonitis and growing pains. And um, there was an orthopedic surgeon in Everett who finally, finally caught, caught the mass and realized it was probably cancer and sent me immediately to Children's Hospital. The doctors and nurses and all the staff there, they were like, extended family to me. When my parents and my friends and family couldn't be there, they were there to support me. They were sitting by my bedside and talking and rubbing my back, just getting me through everything. I could never thank them enough. All my treatment was inpatient, so I was there for almost an entire year. We tried to make everything funny. We made everything silly, we made everything a game, and it made the days pass by faster. And um, really help, helped all of us, I think. I had three months of chemotherapy, and then uh, my surgeons went in and took my tumor out. But I had an additional nine months of chemo, and I'm considered cured. Um, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I found a gray hair the other day. And most people would be just devastated. And I'm just happy I'm here to have gray hair. Um, I'm happy I'm here to see that. 